tracking H1N1, and as many try to prevent catching it, doctors say there are several scammers out there trying to rip you off. The Food and Drug Administration tried to stop some of these people from selling swine flu remedies. Sharia Davis is live to explain what you need to look out for. The Lucas County Health Department says there's no specific medicine that will prevent you from catching the virus other than the vaccine. And if you take something that's prescribed to you without a doctor's consent, it could be dangerous. You never know what's really in these pills, so without knowing, I think there could be a potential danger. And that's why the Lucas County Health Department wants you to be aware. The FDA reported there were more than 100 H1N1 products advertised on the Internet, but they're all scams. About 80% of the companies the FDA has contacted have stopped running their advertising or have changed their advertising. But... 20% have ignored the FDA. Northwest Ohio Better Business Bureau President Richard Epstein says people are ordering placebos and other items thinking it will help them from catching swine flu. There's a, there's a, a preventive uh, shampoo that people are ordering. There's a hand gel that's got colloidal silver in it that you're supposed to put on your hands. Well, everyone who's paid attention knows that just washing your hands is all you need to do. He also says any medication purchased over the internet could be tainted and worthless. If they buy what they think is Tamiflu or some kind of preventive product and they think it's going to protect them against swine flu, they're not as cautious. And as a result, they could be even more likely to contract the disease. Now, if you see any of these scams advertised, you should file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. And if you already purchased an item, chances are you won't get a refund. Reporting live, Sharia Davis, Fox Toledo News, first at 4. The groups of those who are eligible to receive H1N1 vaccinations is expanding. On Sunday, the University of Toledo Scott Park campus will hold a clinic from 2 until 6 o'clock. This time, along with the original priority groups, uh, those married to pregnant women can get the vaccine, along with people between the ages of 25 and 64 with chronic health conditions. To find out who else...